segment here. Each and every Friday night, we want to celebrate a non-boys basketball team. So some Fridays, there'll be a girls basketball team live in studio. Other times, perhaps a bowling team. Next week, we might have the Elida wrestling team coming by. Uh, also, gymnastics. Who knows? We might get gymnastics from Finley. But we want to switch it up for you, maybe even swimming and diving. This week, we start with Bath Girls Basketball, the veteran head coach, Greg Mock. And... 3-0, it's Bath Girls Basketball, you're 3-0 to start the year. How would you assess this first week? Well, I think that we've, we've played well when we really needed to. I'm not sure the consistency is where we really want it to be at this point in time, but I thought we've done a few things very well that have allowed us to be successful in some games, and, and one of those things would be attacking the rim, and we've really rebounded the ball well. Your tip-off tournament's always just a great way to start the girls basketball season. Last week I, I said it's akin to the Elida Boys tip-off tournament. We know girls basketball's here because Bath's tipping it off. Great field as always, Finley, New Knoxville, and Elida, a familiar mm -hmm. opponent. How did you feel you came out of that one? Well, you know, I think that you know, we, had, we had our, our rough stretches in the first game with Elida. We really were very, very inconsistent in the first half. We settled down a little bit in the second half. We were able to defend a little bit better. We were able to find some rhythm offensively. And then in the Knoxville game, we had a very similar situation where uh, we were a little bit out of sync in the first half, but we came out in the second half and really guarded well and really attacked the rim and really made some things happen positive. We've got three, three seniors there with us here. I'll talk to them here in a mm -hmm. moment, but what do they mean to this team and what do they each bring? We, we have a really nice group of kids, period, and our mm -hmm. senior group is a, is a really quality group of kids. I mean, they're kids I really enjoy being around. They're very coachable. They, they really uh, keep things um, on a positive upward swing for the team. I think they're good leaders and and I'm really excited about our senior class and, and our whole team, but uh, um, you know, I, I'm really pleased with the things I've seen out of them so far. You've been around boys basketball and girls basketball in this mm -hmm. area for decades. How have both sports changed in, in your mind as you sit back and look at 20, 30 years ago? What's different about today? Well, without sounding too critical, I think um, what I've seen is a, a, a falling off, if you would, of the discipline that it takes to really be good in the off season and really uh, make yourself better. I see there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things that really um, take kids' focus away from where I'd like to see it be. And uh, I think that's been a little bit of a change. Um, you know, numbers are down in a lot of schools. And yeah. I think that has a lot to do with the distractions and, and not really wanting to get involved in something where you're going to be challenged, you're going to be pushed. And, and sometimes kids today, I think, shy away from that. Has that caused you to change your summer workouts or, or the way you lead up to the season or have you been able to maintain what you prefer? I look at it this way. Um, we're going to push our kids. We're going to coach them the same way we've always coached them and the cream's going to rise to the top is going to rise to the top and those are the kids that we're going to have in the program and uh, you know those are the kind of kids that you win with. Big week ahead. You got Elida again to open the Western Buckeye League, then for sales, and then a game we'll have on WOSN, Ottawa Glandorf. This is going to be a fun week and a half. We've got a stretch coming up here. I mean, we've got to go on the road to Elida. Tuesday night we have for sales at their place. Uh, they're always very uh, good team, usually a large team, very big team. Um, then we have to play Thursday night at home against Ottawa Glandorf, and then we go to um, what many people in Toledo are considering uh, one of the top three teams in the city of Toledo, Toledo Start, hmm. and we're going to play up there. So we've got a tough stretch coming up. No question about it, but good to have you on the sidelines again. God, the health has, has lodged to come back. Appreciate that, Andy. Yeah, that's yeah. Greg Mock, the girls' basketball coach. Now I'm going to walk right over here. We're going to try something new on Sports Report and talk to three of those seniors. Bailey Dakin, how, how's it going so far? 3-0, and oh, it's Bath yep. Girls Basketball. <laughs> Exciting start. Yep. Um, we started off good. Uh, we beat New Knoxville in the first game. Or no, we beat Elida in the first game, and then we beat New Knoxville. So it was pretty good, and then we beat Oregon Clay on Thursday. So Different styles, those yes. three teams. Has that helped your team kind of figure out what you have? Yeah, it was a great game, great game for each of us, and we played hard. We played good defense, all around good. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> You were just still coming from the boys basketball game, right? Yeah. So, so tough one for the boys, but it's great to see the support of Bath, whether yeah. it's the girls game or the boys game, always a good crowd. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we enjoy watching the boys and we like learn from them. And um, we have a light on Thursday, so it'd be a great game, uh, great league. So 
I'm gonna be good. Haley Garland, it's Elida <laughs> here. It's Elida boys. It's Elida girls again. You're getting tired of Elida here every game. So, I mean, it's always been a big rival for us, and it's always great to play them. No question about it. Double double for you over the weekend. Rebounding or scoring points? Do you have a favorite thing to do or, or you know, whatever helps the team you're going to do? Whatever helps the team. How has the offseason been leading into this season with so many girls back? Uh, last year was such a young team. Did you really feel like you guys gained some momentum? Yeah, in the offseason, we had a couple girls in soccer and where it was like a solid four of us were like lifting and coming into the gym and getting shots up every day of the week. Speaking of shots up, how about shot put and, and discus? How does that help your basketball game? Oh, yeah, I lift for that and it helps in basketball. All right, Heidi Craddock, kind of new to the area, second year, uh, basketball player down in Tennessee, I'm sure. How excited were you to join this bath program that has so much history? Yes, sir, I was very excited to know that I was going to be a part of a great basketball program and being um, teammates with these seniors, absolutely fun. So, What was that like, coming to a new school as a junior? Yeah, I would say it was a bit terrifying, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but they made me feel welcome, so it all worked out, and I'm happy to play for the Wild Kittens. And Coach Mock, a veteran coach, I'm sure he did a good job bringing you in and making you feel comfortable pretty quickly. Yes, sir, he did. Was he a big factor in, in coming to Bath? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking ahead, uh, an exciting stretch here when you talk about Elida, you talk about Versailles, uh, certainly Ottawa Glandorf as well. Is this where, it, you know, that we're going to find out how Bath basketball is. Is that how you're feeling? Yes, sir. Um, I believe the teams we play these couple weeks going to show our true character and we can do what we can do. We've been practicing really hard and we're ready for these um, competitions coming up. So. All right, well off to a great start, the Bath ladies. We thank them for stopping by in this inaugural segment and when we return we'll have more boys basketball highlights right here on the Sports Report. Stay with us.